Well, if you saw my video yesterday, um, I had a video showing how I came up with this uh, sculpture. In fact, a, it's a instructional video I've got on uh, line, and uh, I'll have a link to a view of all nine of my videos uh, down below. But this one is uh, called The Widow and the Widower. It's not the title that's on the instructional video. It's, uh, I think it's called a, a Bust of a Man and a Bust of a Woman uh, video, how, how to do that. Anyway, I'm going to do a couple of things on this because I need to. Uh, I noticed that this arm was kind of thin right here, and I need to uh, expand, uh, actually improve that arm that looked a little foreshortened. And it's because of the angle of the arm, but uh, I might just, I don't know. I'm going to work on that. I'm going to redo his face. I'm not really over, overly happy with his face. Uh, I think I can do a lot better. Um, so that, and I've also got to uh, adjust the hat a little bit too. All right, I'll be right back and we'll get started on this. Time to play with some clay. All right, I put this screw here to show you how long this arm should have been to the elbow. And that's how far off that arm is. Um, it's about a head length from that point to the wrist, and you can see that works out perfectly. I just made this arm awful short. So I'm going to take the arm apart and redo the arm, and then I'll do the uh, uh, blouse on top of that. Oh yeah, there's absolutely no arm underneath there. It was completely wrong. Good heavens. Oh, look at that armature. It's terrible. All right. We'll get it right. Take that off there. Okay. Okay, one of the things I need to do is uh, build up her dress under her arm while I got the arm off. Uh, what I do is I took away the armature because I don't need, really need the armature because it'll be laying against uh, the clay. And so the clay will act as a uh, support for the uh, arm. It's really hard to see what I'm doing. I'm going to come back after I get this because it's a real odd angle. The camera over here can't see what I'm doing. This camera can't see what I'm doing because my hand's in the way. So I'm just going to hold off recording this and I'll come back and show this when I get to a, a point where I feel comfortable with what I've got here. Okay, I got it pretty well filled in underneath her uh, arm. So I'm going to add the arm. I had to increase the uh, width of her arms, uh, shoulders, I mean, because I had that a little too short, short too. Now, put the arm right to the elbow where that screw is. I'll remove the screw. That was just to show me how 
far down that arm had to go. It already looks better. Now there's a photograph I took the other day of my, my artist friend Todd Connor who was inspired from this piece that I did uh, three years ago and he decided to do a painting with kind of like well he named it the exact same title which is not it's it's fine he's not copying my piece he's just taking my title and putting it on a painting of his which is a perfectly perfectly fine and uh he came by the studio uh last week to show me uh that uh painting he's getting ready to do a show down in uh bristol at the bristol museum i think it is down in san antonio on the 24th and 25th of next month march and if you're in that area you might stop by and say hi to todd connor a good friend and uh We've done some model shoots together with Pioneer women and stuff. But uh, anyway, he uh, is one hell of a painter. And uh, I'm proud to know him as a friend. All right, I'm going to get back to work on this clay here. Um, anyway, I, it, it inspired me to get back on this clay because he wants to show people photographs of this clay um, and tell him the story about how it uh, inspired him to do that uh, painting and I figure if he's going to be showing it to possible clients down there uh, somebody might just have an interest to buy the painting and maybe one of these uh, uh, pieces in bronze so I thought I'd better improve this piece so I get a good picture for him when he goes to show it I'm happy with this arm right now. This this arm is so much better. I I tell you, when I was working on this three years ago, I was just not in the mood. I was pretty much in a bad place uh, that week or that month. And uh, I'm in a much better area right now, mentally. And so I figured, why not re-attack it? That's why you set things aside. And that's the nice thing about this clay that I use. It's a uh, uh, JMAC medium grade clay that I get from Sculpture Depot. Uh, it uh, can be reworked years later. I mean, it, it will go bad after a while, but it takes a long, long time for that to happen. And three years is not a bad amount of time between when I worked on it last time and now and have it to be pliable. All right, I took away his beard. Um, I thought it might be too much. I made him look too old and I wanted to bring him down to more her age, maybe a little older than her, but close to her age. Um, yeah, I think I like that face better now. I will rework the eyes a little bit, I think. I don't know. I'll I'll come back tomorrow and take a look at it and see how I feel. But the arm looks a whole lot better now. Uh, I'm really happy with that. I'm, I'm glad I did this today. And I've got to work on her hand a little bit. All right, everybody, have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll see what tomorrow brings. All right. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.